Bonjour, monsieur. Glare. Um, no. Um, cover. C uh, cool. Uh, yes. Carson. Oh. Uh, may I be of help? Um, on va prendre celui-là, s'il vous plaît, monsieur Ursel. I thought maybe this one. It makes you look like King Zog of Albania. Oh, no, no, no. I wouldn't hear of it. It was my choice, so I should pay. Yeah, but I'm the one who has to wear it. Um... Thanks for your custom, sir. Both. You and your wife. Have you told them, Lady Grantham? She's told us nothing. Do sit down. I've come into possession of a villa in the south of France. What villa? <laughs> Start at the beginning. Years ago, before you were born, I met a man. They spend a few days together and he gives her a house. You never thought to turn it down? Do I look as if I'd turned down a villa in the south of France? Telephone call for you, my lord. Mr. Barber is a producer and director. He wants to make a film at Downton. A moving picture at Downton. But the big old stars, famous ones. I think it's a horrible idea. Actresses plastered in makeup and actors just plastered. There is something about him, like a wild animal ready to spring. Ready to spring on you, you mean? Action! Cut! Cut! Sorry. The modern world comes to Downton. Why do you think he gave you the villa? That is where the mystery resides. Then we're off to the Riviera. And with any luck, we'd miss the whole of Mary's frightful film. I do hope that was a prop. You steer ahead. You're the captain now. They better be warned. The British are coming. Welcome to the Villa of the Doves. It's a beautiful place. How happy you must be. Oh, my goodness. Who is she? The Lady Grantham I first went to work for. Granny! Why did you invite us here? It doesn't look good for Papa if she felt the need to keep it a secret. There's trouble in paradise. You don't need me to tell you that marriage is a novel full of plot twists along the way. Women like us fall into two categories, dragons and fools. You must make sure they think of you as a dragon. But with that, I will say goodnight and leave you to discuss my mysterious past. It seems the public only want films that talk. I should have thought the best thing about films is that you can't hear them. It'd be even better if you couldn't see them either. <laughs>